What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to save space, create more opportunity for growth, and make a beautiful garden all at the same time using just this, a ball of yarn. Let's go! What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people? My name is Ricky Jones Jr. and I do different gardening videos and palette videos. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you're not, uh, you know, intrigued on doing so right now it's cool stay tuned i'm gonna show you why you should but nonetheless we are going to do some square foot garden ladies and gentlemen now that was something that i came in contact with through my friend lala crops which shouts out to her go ahead and subscribe to her channel too she does amazing gardening videos as well however with her raised bed she showed me what it was all about and at the time i was still into my five gallon buckets situation as far as gardening was concerned however now i am reaching back into my roots of pun intended raised bed gardening and what i'm going to show you is what you should do and doing it yourself and i'm gonna show you um something cool because my raised beds aren't a even like three foot or four foot it's a little bit off but i'm gonna show you what you can do with that extra space we'll call it and making everything come into harmony as far as your garden is concerned so let's go ahead and get into it and i'm gonna talk you through it and then uh yeah we'll have some fun in between <laughs> let's go all right, so the first things first is marking out each 12 foot area, okay? So I'm just going down one side at a time. And when you do it, make sure you are facing the ruler on the same side, each side, because I did see somebody do it wrong and had to redo it the whole way. But just making sure that the you know measuring tape is the same direction each time will make it good to go, okay? So mark those out, know where your spaces are. So then when you come back for this point, you can screw in your holes. Now, what I'm doing is putting in pilot holes because I didn't want anything to split and anything like that. No problems. I know the wood is old. It's going to hold me over until I figure out what type of new raised bed that I want to get. But nonetheless, I did the pilot holes first and then I'm going to come back with the screws and seal the deal, which I'm doing right now with the screws into the holes. Makes life easier too, I will say and just keeps down on any riff raff. So I did want to show you this because I don't know what size raised beds you are using, but nonetheless, at any different size, any particular width, pilot holes, and then the screws will serve you well, will serve you great. And then for those who have watched the video of me mulching in the greens, you can see like the green starting to break down and things like that. Um, it doesn't look the best, but hey, it's okay. So here I am stringing in the yarn itself. And so I'm just, you know, I'm not stringing one situation at a time. I did it one direction at a time and just looped it around so that, you know, it has that proper support and then cutting it, tying a knot on the ends of the end and then ends on the start side. And then from there, just going around doing it again Try my best not to step within the raised beds because of course you don't want to compact the soil when you're doing things like that and so you know i did see somebody drill in the screws as they were going but then i realized i don't want to drill in the holes i didn't want to drill in the screws because i needed that length when i was coming back especially for the length away which you can see now you're using the same screws to do multiple beds so the higher the screw up the better it will Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I went on ahead and strung the full set of the first one and now I'm on to the second one where I already did the pre-drilling and the screws like I did on the first one. However, I wanted to chime in because as I was doing the first one, I thought about, man, what if I just string the whole bed at the same time, right? And so, you know, the first one I did it bed by bed as far as the stringing is concerned, but I'm going to try it out. Let's just see what it looks like when you try the whole situation at the same time. I'm thinking at the same time and all that good stuff, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see if it works out, and I'll let you know. All right, let's give it a try. <laughs>
there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Round number two, way number two is so much easier than way number one. Or again, way number two is just doing them all together, okay? And uh, just do the whole bed. The length first and do the width. Connect them, solid, good to go. So much faster, like less cutting, less everything. And I mean, it's still, it's the same. Um, the yarn itself is a nice yarn. I picked it up actually from Amazon. I'll put a link below for that. And uh, it's a nice sturdy string. You don't want anything that's thin or brittle because it will get rained on, it will get sun on, it will get rained on, it will get sun on, but you do want it to remain on, okay, at the end of the day. So what you can see here, let me just do a little zoom again. As you can see, like the narrow side is in the middle as well as over here the narrow side is in the middle and what i will look to do is those different vegetables that only take you know half of a space plant them there more than anything i'm gonna plant like my marigolds my garlic my onions and things like that the thing that help repel pests okay putting them in the middle i feel like it'll give a nice balance to both beds okay the wind will blow one way protect it the wind will blow the other way protect it okay so i'm thinking about protection that is the thought in which i had with doing the skinny little extra pieces in the middle okay so hey give it a try give it a go um of course i'll bring you along the journey just to show you what you can place in each square because the square is indicative of various things certain vegetables you can plant four things in a square certain vegetables you can plant eight things in a square okay but at the end of the day it's square foot gardening which allows for you to plant strategically and knowing how to even plant things communally Hmm. companion plants for another way of saying that but i'm excited to bring you along a journey there is a book that specifically talks to square foot gardening which i did pick it up from amazon it should be here tomorrow so uh my gardening and everything will grow from there pun intended and with that being said i love you all i make sure i bring you along a journey just to show you what i have learned and what i'm gonna do as far as the eggplant i'm gonna do peas i'm gonna do okra i'm gonna do tomatoes sweet potatoes as well for the summer vegetables summer crops and so I'll make sure I bring you on a journey and let you know what things you can plant within the square foot gardening if the book isn't what you want to get if watching me is your you know specialty or desire I'm gonna make sure I give you a show I'm gonna give you what you want but with that being said it's pretty cool so I have one two three three solid three by three solid boxes I do have the narrow um, of them along the sides and things like that but basically it lets me know that my beds are like three and a half by three and a half which is cool it's reachable I'm able to get across and you know that's my thing going forward I do want my beds to be three feet wide three feet wide okay it's reachable on both sides and even on one side I can still get to the other side okay so that is what I did that is what it does and we my friend have now a nice structured square foot garden so I love you I appreciate you. Go ahead, subscribe. We are on our way to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2021, okay? And with you subscribing, that'll help us get there that much quicker, okay? I love you. I appreciate it. I mean, I say I love you so much because I do. I wanted to make sure that you experience the love that I have for you through my words and through my action and through my energy, as people say. I love your energy. I appreciate it. It's all love. It's all genuine. So you get what I have to give. But it's always hard for me to say goodbye, y'all. I don't say goodbye so many times. And I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to say, see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>